Los Angeles has four aspects of agriculture, such as industry growth, transportation, farming techniques, and environmental impact. These four sections work in harmony to bring food to the table and provide the nutrients essential for human life. Los Angeles used to be an agricultural powerhouse in the 1950s when there were over 850,000 acres of farmland and 11,973 farms. It was perhaps the biggest supplier of oranges and dairy to the rest of the country. As we flash forward to the present, we now see that the constant push to urbanize has slowly caused the farming business to migrate out of Southern California. In fact, in 2002, the number of farms decreased to 1,543, and there were only 111,458 acres of land left. As the years have progressed, more and more buildings have been located throughout the Los Angeles County, and there's a continuation of less farmland. Because of this, most farms have been reduced in size, and a lot of those farms have become more and more artificial. Farmers needed to use farmhouses to grow fruits and vegetables under these farm housing conditions. Due to this, most farmers are no longer the stereotypical image that we imagine. The business has not been completely laid to rest. In 2009, it was estimated that Los Angeles crops grossed around $189 million. People perceive Los Angeles County as a semi-arid desert. An area is classified as semi-arid if it receives light rainfall during the duration of the year. Agriculturists utilize specific techniques to ensure that they receive the highest crop yield and profit. Today's economy requires agriculture to be profitable and sustainable. A method known strongly for providing the sustainable amount of harvest is crop rotation. Crop rotation, by definition, is the growth of multiple crops in the same field in succession. This provides a diversity but also reaps many benefits for farmers in the long run. One positive consequence of these rotations is that it may help rid of insect pests completely. These bugs and smaller organisms are often not able to adjust their diets. With this disruption, the reproductive cycles are often broken and the population diminishes. Adding on, there is an up and coming farming technique called hydroponics. What if we could grow crops without the use of fertilizers? If we were able to cut down the amount of fertilizer used on farms, we would be able to reduce the amount of runoff that destroys many ecosystems each year. As the amount of farmland declines, we have an alternate solution. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants using minerals enriched with a water solution. It is possible to grow almost any terrestrial plant with this technique. The pests that plague farmers are beyond anybody's control. For example, the oriental fruit fly has managed to migrate its way into the farms of California. They have the potential to devastate the crops of both avocados and tomatoes. The moral debate of whether or not to use pesticides may now come into play. However, in complex farms, they may introduce natural pest predators. Sadly, the use of pesticides often murders the natural hunters that protect crops. Would farming be more effective if the natural pest predator technique is incorporated? The pest management technique lacking chemical methods is slowly gaining momentum. The idea of using biotechnology to produce microorganisms in the soil that fight both disease and pests is emerging. Transportation also plays an important role in Los Angeles agricultural life. Motor vehicles deliver all the goods in Los Angeles. With the exponential increase in population, the pollution can start to get out of hand. Pollution contaminates both air and soil. This leads up to the environmental impact that agriculture has on Los Angeles. Many of the pollutants dumped into the county waters by storm and urban runoff are invisible. Pesticides, bacteria, vehicle fluids, tiny pieces of metal and rubber washed off of roadways. With the increase in machinery on urban farms, farming no longer has a negligible carbon footprint. The most common problem caused by agriculture is known as runoff. That's when rain scatters dirt, pollutants, and even fertilizer remains in rivers. Although fertilizers contain nutrients necessary for the growth of plants, the same ingredients in the fertilizer cause growth in scum in rivers and the buildup of scum in rivers which result in reduced oxygen levels in the water affecting the entire ecosystem of the stream. Not only does runoff lead to the increase in plant life in rivers, but it also causes rivers to build up dirt which in the future causes rivers to become uninhabitable. It is known that agriculture is a production of food, but many people do not know how complex the industry is. It is essential to realize that agriculture has the ability to promote a change in the quality of Los Angeles life. However, if not reformed, the environmental effect could be catastrophic, but the constant development of new techniques displays that Los Angeles is striving to defeat the imminent environmental dangers.